Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some work on the neck. So I got this neck here from eBay for about $35 I think. Of course this headstock is just a paddle, so I'm going to have to cut out my own headstock shape and drill the holes. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, you can actually see this has some pretty decent wood grain. Probably not coming across on camera, but there is some actual decent movement and a little bit of figuring. It's not a flame maple neck, but there's a little thing here and there. It's really nice. The description of this neck when I bought it, they lied three times. First of all, they said it was a rosewood fretboard. Obviously, I was not expecting that to be true, because obviously you can't really import it anymore. But this fretboard's not bad. I'm not too sure what type of wood it is, but it has some pretty nice inlays. They're like this perloid fake plastic thing. I don't know, but they look nice. And they do have some good pick it up on camera I guess not but they have some decent figuring now secondly they said it would have a bone nut yeah I mean that's a plastic nut there but I'm not complaining I don't really care for a bone nut this guitar isn't gonna have any sort of tremolo and I'm gonna have locking tuners so tuning stability is not gonna be that big of an issue the shape of this neck feels very comfortable it's definitely a C shape it's not that thick, I prefer a thicker neck, but at the same time it's not like too thin. Now my biggest complaint with this is they said it would be unfinished. So as you can probably tell here, this is finished, it's probably some sort of satin, polyurethane. Now I'm not really too upset about that because it does feel pretty comfortable, but now I won't be able to finish this the way I wanted to with Danish oil. And also when I cut out the headstock, there is not going to be any finish around the edges. So I considered maybe sanding it down back to the bare wood, but after trying a bit up here, it actually is a pretty thick finish, and it would pretty much be like a whole refinish job, so I'm not going to deal with that. I'll just see how it comes out after I cut it, and if I have to do some finishing on the sides, eh, it's not that big of a deal. I already did this off camera, but I sort of took a file to the fret edges, help them become smooth. It's perfectly smooth all the way down the fretboard. No rough edges, no sharpness. And I don't think I'm going to be doing a fret job on this guitar because I used a straight edge to see it. And they actually did a pretty good job out of the factory. So congratulations to China. Of course these frets aren't really polished. Like they are kind of rough. Not really rough rough, but they're just not too shiny. But that's not a big a deal to me. I don't really look at stuff like that. I don't understand how people do look at stuff like that, really. Because from a distance, they all look the same. It has a truss rod, of course, like it should. The neck is straight, I assume. Doesn't look twisted. And yeah, it's a neck. So, first thing first, I'm gonna cut out this headstock shape. So I just did one quick cut here to see what this edge would look like. Pretty smooth. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna go over this with file and sandpaper, so. But the contrast between that and this isn't too bad. So maybe I'll do my original plan and do the Danish oil just around the sides.
I lied. I ended up using Danish oil. So as you probably saw there, I got a little carried away with the sanding. Completely removed all the finish from the back of the neck. And I think it, it looks and feels a lot better than before. The oil is still drying a little bit, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. But looks pretty nice. It feels smoother than any neck I've ever felt. Then after that, I went ahead and put uh, lemon oil on the fretboard to darken it up and to moisturize whatever type of wood this is. It's definitely not rosewood. I can say that, because the way it sucked up the wood, I have never seen that before. Now as for the headstock, don't worry, it's not gonna look like this. I'm gonna finish it, but I'm gonna be finishing it the same as the top of the guitar. So I don't wanna give that away just yet. But I think that's pretty much the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked. Subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on any more of this build and all my other future projects. And I'm out.